do I recommend this and will I buy this again? I mean, if you couldn't tell. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Ooh. I am back with a, another sunscreen video. Feels like it's been so long since I've done a sunscreen video and now we've had two sunscreen videos in a row. What a blessing. <laughs> in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Cos RX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream SPF 50 plus. Here is the beauty. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because unlike my usual sunscreen videos where I put it on my face and I show you all of that stuff, I'm not actually going to be putting this on my face for reasons that I will explain as we get into the video. I don't want to keep you guys here for too long, so let's just jump right into it. Okie okay, dokie gang, so so I bought the Cos RX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream SPF 50 Plus from ASOS. This was about £20 on ASOS, but I originally saw this on Rich Skin where this is £19.99. So if you want to save yourself a penny, get yourself onto Rich Skin. When I bought this, this was on offer, which is why I didn't buy it from Rich Skin. And this has five out of five stars on the ASOS website. This has three reviews. If you really know anything about sunscreens vaguely or like you're really into it then I'm pretty sure you would have heard of Cos RX. They are a Korean skincare company and this sunscreen has had rave reviews. In fact I don't think I've ever seen a negative review about this sunscreen and as such I've been wanting to try out this sunscreen for the longest time so finally took the plunge to try it. So this is a very popular sunscreen that I think every single person has tried. On Rich Skin this this also has five out of five stars as well. And Rich Skin says, protect your skin daily with the amazing aloe soothing SPF 50 PA++ sun cream. It's a perfect sunscreen with multiple benefits. It provides long lasting hydration without sticky residue or a white cast. It contains aloe which soothes sensitive and irritated skin. This ultra hydrating sunscreen absorbs quickly into skin to defend against sun damage and environmental aggressors whilst leaving the skin moisturized, hydrated and and replenished. They also say that this is suitable for all skin types. This does not leave a white or purple cast on your face and body. It is very hydrating. It contains soothing ingredients like aloe. It wears perfect under makeup and smells amazing. So that is basically all of the stuff that they have on the Rich Skin website. This sunscreen also offers UVA and UVB protection. And I guess the last most important thing is there is 50 ml of product in here, so this will last you a bit of time. Although someone did leave a review on Rich Skin saying that the bottle is too small. I believe that the bottle is too big for reasons that we will get into in just a second. Okay, so now that we've got all of those facts out of the way, let's talk about my experiences using the Cos RX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. So, I only managed to use this sunscreen twice and the first time that I used it I really liked the sunscreen it didn't leave me with a white cast I didn't look purple I just looked brown and I loved how like I don't know I kind of felt like apple pie like I just looked so sweet and so like subtly glowy and my skin was very brown and it just looked very nice and beautiful however as the day went on I just started noticing that like it was almost like out of the corner of my eye. It's like my skin would be like, it would just look a bit weird throughout the day. And I just kind of brushed it off because I was like, oh, do you know, Alice, it's just, it's all in your head. <laughs> this is what I was talking about in my last video. I don't really like to blame other things so much. But I was like, oh, do you know what? Like, it's fine. You just need to like get used to using this. And it's quite dark today. So that's probably why out of the corner of your eye, you're looking a bit blue. And when you turn to certain parts of the light, your face gets a bit of a blue tinge to it. Then I used this for a second day. And on the second day was really when I started to notice what was happening to my skin. So I broke out in a rash. Guys, like what is this rash? Like it just, you can see it all on my forehead. Here, here. Ignore this. <laughs> I'm coming up my period soon. This back here, I don't know where that is from because I don't really break out this side of my face normally. And like all of this, like it just feels very like, ugh, it's giving heat rash vibes. And it's kind of a bit on my neck. Ugh. And it's like here on my chin. And like, it just is very, very textured. And I think definitely a rash. You can like, oh, horrible. 
horrible. And it wasn't like the worst rash I've ever had, but my skin just got so irritated and dry and I had all these bumps on my face. So today is Sunday and I used this on, when did I use this? I think I used this on Monday and Tuesday. So my skin has basically been recovering since Wednesday when I stopped using this. And even though now my face is doing a lot better, I can still see like tiny bumps. My skin still feels quite dry and irritated and so now what I'm really looking into is the ingredients because I am not really an ingredients type of person because I know that my skin's not sensitive like that so whenever a product does make my skin go a bit weird that's when I know it's cause for concern and so that is the reason why I'm not going to be putting this on my face because my face has only just recovered and I don't want to put on sunscreen back on top of it this is the sad thing because I don't really want to put this anywhere else because I also put this on my neck and I noticed that I also was having like a bit of a rash on my neck so I'm really trying to figure out like where I want to put this because I still want to show you guys how this works and how this wears on dark skin but we're just going to do it on my arm because I don't really mind if I get a rash on my arm because my arm will be covered I suppose. So I just want to quickly show you guys what this looks like on the body and on brown skin in case if you've just been curious about how the COSRX sunscreen wears on darker skin. Okay guys, <laughs> so we are in very close. So it does rub in really well. You can see there's no white cast, there's no purple. My hand's not blue. You know, yesterday's video, my previous video, and I was looking like the blue guy from Doctor Who. It's really nice. It's got this nice, like, kind of tropical, but not super overpowering, but it's got a really nice smell. Like, I really like it. Do you know, maybe it could be the fragrance that's like, bugging me out I don't know but I'm not really I don't really have issues with fragrance though to be honest not normally but you can see like it just rubs in really well there's no white cast although I think because my face this is why I wish I could put it on my face to show you what I meant about like in some lights my face looked a bit blue but I think because my face is darker than my body sometimes like it's almost like the brown on my face like when I add products to it they don't come out as their true colors if that makes sense so when I add like white to the brown of my skin like sometimes it can make it blue whereas because my hands are a bit lighter than my face you can see now like my hands are so much lighter than my face it's like this brown doesn't go blue with white. It's, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I don't know. But I guess the point is, we can see my hand, it's brown, there's no white cast. This is very hydrating, so if you have dry skin, you will find this hydrating. And yeah, it just feels very smooth, very soft on the skin. When I put this on my face, my face, on the first day, my face felt really smooth, really nice. Again, I just felt like apple pie, like very sweet and like, cute and all the rest of it and when you see the pictures you will see like my skin looked good and I looked like I just looked good you know and so it is a shame that what <laughs> it's a shame that what's happened happened but you know what can you do really not a whole lot I think for me personally it just sucks that this sunscreen didn't work for me and I think why I say that this 50 mil is too big is because I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of the bottle but if my hand is fine then I think I'll just keep this as like a hand cream or like a body sunscreen so hopefully this won't go completely to waste but for me and my face this is a no so I guess on that note do I recommend this and will I buy this again I mean if you couldn't tell I will not buy this again um do I recommend it I think this is quite a tricky one because I don't know I think it's hard to say because everyone's skin is very different and skincare is such a personal thing and I think that the only reason why I don't like this and why I won't buy this again is because of the rash it gave me and I can't speak for what your skin is like so I don't really know all I can say is read the ingredients list see what's in there if everything is good with your skin then go ahead and buy but I don't know it's just weird because there are so many good reviews about this so I know this is a good sunscreen but it's not good for my skin however if you have already used this sunscreen and it works great for you and you love it no problems please do leave a comment down below because I think that'll just be really useful for other people who are trying to decide whether or not they want to buy this sunscreen if you are like me and you've had 
bad or negative results with this guy please also leave that down below because like i said last time i need a support group i need people around me who we can just support each other through this very tough tough time and i'd like to know what your experiences are with this sunscreen but um yeah i feel like this is quite an inconclusive video and i can't really give too much information about it but you know what that's why you come here to watch these videos to just get personal opinions and to get people's experiences on skincare products so guys that is all from me in today's video i hope you liked it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up do, 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 do. and in the meantime i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.